Hello and welcome back to Vox Mundi! We are playing as the Fraticelli Papacy and this is definitely the hardest start we've had so far when it comes to actual expansion possibilities. Uh, yes indeed, we do not really have anywhere to expand, but I have my eyes set on Oman here. So, uh, of course we cannot core this ourselves, but we could annex them and then release them as a vassal. The thing is that Sistan is the defender of the faith right now, which is quite a problem for us, because, um, well, if they don't have anything to do and they get a call to arms, then they're definitely going to heed it. Anyway, what? Valoy has taken this. I had no idea that they uh, actually had any Indian ambitions at all. Well, then they have their first, so to speak, colony. The problem with Pandu Nadu is that, uh, seeing as they're Indian tech, we would make them a protectorate if we released them. That means that uh, we cannot release them and then annex them to gain cores. Instead we um, would have to core it ourselves, which we can't because we don't have the range. Hmm. I don't know how long our range is, by the way. Maybe we do have the range. Colonial map mode. We do have range to... The Spice Islands, unfortunately, doesn't seem like it extends very far. <laughs> we could attack Japan, but I, I doubt that we will be able to do that. I mean, uh, their navy, Takahashi, let's see here. They only have two ships. Armist then. Takahashi. Yeah, they have 56,000 troops, but who are they allied to? They're allied to Sheng, and Sheng probably has quite a fleet, if I may guess so. Yeah, 95,000 ships, so that is out of the question. That's too bad, because otherwise we could have uh, landed here, or in uh, this southern island here, and just blocked them off with our ships. But in any case, we'll be setting our sights on Oman. But to do that, we need more transport ships. At least we have the money to buy all the ships we need. There we go. That will give us how many ships, by the way? It will give us eight transport ships. Alright, well, that's enough to transport a few troops. I should really merge up all of my fleets in uh, one direction, and I suppose suppose that we're going to go f the western route here. Oh, this means that I should start improving my relations with nations around here, like Sistan, for example. Let's, um, relation actions. There we go. Improve relation with you. Anyone else? Great Baghdad? Sure. Damot? Why not? At least you're Christian. Might be willing to ally me. And let's gain a bunch of ducats. Or do we want to declare the war right now? My gut says no. Let's see here. Oman. You have one ship. And how many troops? 7,000. And they're probably going to be parked on the same island. Which means that we need the technological advantage. To beat them because we're going to suffer a huge penalty from attacking from boats. In any case, I do not think it would be wise to declare the war right now. I'd rather wait until Sistan is in another war, if possible. So let's take the gold. And also, let's take a mission to create a fortress in Mosquito Kiste. Let's take the mission. There we go. And build ourselves. A star bastion in our beloved capital. No, actually, not the capital. Carthago is the capital. Lest we forget. Hmm. We'll save up some ducats. Might need it. Hmm. Yeah, there are really no other venues of expansion, but I am looking really hard. Pandu Anadu. I wish I had a range to core it. With Oman, 
under our control, we would be. We would be able to take these two provinces. And core them. And then maybe expand into... Damot? They're allied to Dacia. Dacia is far away. Maybe. I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a potential. What I'm afraid of, though, is Great Baghdad attacking for this province, because they have a claim on it. I have no idea why they have not attacked Oman already, but they might... The AI classifies threats uh, differently for some reason. So if I hold it, they might think it's uh, more worth the attack. Why is Thuringia sowing discontent against us? Are we rival to them or something? We are rival to Thuringia and Pisa. But why, though? Thuringia. Damn you. Also, many new missions <laughs> establish us in the Spice Islands. Why do we get that? Is there actually an island left, or... Do you only get that mission when there's a province left to be colonized, maybe? I have a hard time believing that. Oh, this? This isn't colonized, I think. Man, we need to capitalize on this immediately. Right. We do not need an explorer. Actually, we might be able to do it with an explorer. Uh, so you stop that, and... One of you can continue protecting trade in Panama. The other one, though, on the other hand, going to port. Man, if we can get that island, that will increase our range by quite a lot. Right, so go here and uh, go back and forth a bunch of times. What if we could get... Uh, military access from Seville, which would uh, probably help us with our... Attrition. Let's see here. Axis. Fleet basing rights. Yeah. Let's remove one of the diplomats so we have, uh, have it ready. Let's ask for that fleet basing right. Whenever it comes back. Uh, at least we're only suffering 1% attrition here. Oh, there we go. Send. Seville declared upon Fess. Interesting. Right, so there was actually a colony left. Does this count as, as the Spice Islands, though? Pacific Ocean Islands. I think yes, otherwise we would never have gotten this mission. Okay, so you go back. And let's send uh, a regiment over there. Are you all finished up? I think you are. Transport. Transport. Do I actually have ten transports? Have I miscounted? Maybe I do. Indeed. Well, ten is awesome. Alright, let's uh, go around uh, South America. And park in Nicaraguan. You can stand here. I'm not going to bring all of them over, but I'm going to bring quite a few of them. Right, so I am impressed by the fact that no one has taken this. And overjoyed, to be honest. I wonder if anyone has taken these islands. Should, uh... Where is my explorer? You're still out to sea. When is this going to... 524 days? Okay, then. Let's see here. Can we actually get up here first? I'm willing to pay uh, fleet basing rights just to save this ship. Ah oh, no, it's taken. Any other islands here? Maybe? I don't think there are. I don't remember this layout in uh, my head. Oh, there... No, wait. This is taken by someone. I don't know who, though. Let's uh, go back and forth a few times. To scout. And gain some ducats? Why not? Thank you. Do we want public punishments? Naval maintenance plus 25%. Not exactly tempting, so let's uh, hold off on that for a short while. 
Instead, we will of course invest in additional trade efficiency. That sounds excellent. And maybe a few more trade buildings. If possible. One at least. Hmm. Well, Alright, you're almost back home. After having rounded all of South America. Where is the Panama Canal when you need it? Damn it. And let's send uh, two whole ships. With two whole infantrymen. Over to our soon to be colony. Actually soon to be might be a bit early. Now 220 days you will definitely survive. This journey will be long and perilous. Right, so are you suffering any... You have still not found this. Okay. Maybe you can only find... No. I thought maybe you could only find uh, uncolonized territory, but that's false. I know that for sure. We're just being unlucky here. Hmm. Awesome. Well, whoever whoever's got that, I don't mind. But is there anything left? Hawaii? Is Hawaii left? This is slightly dangerous, but let's see if we can do it. I don't remember exactly where Hawaii is, but I think it's somewhere here. Well, well I know it's somewhere here because we can't see it, but uh, at least I don't think so. Not called Hawaii, or maybe we can't see Hawaii in the list. I think you could in uh, Euro Europa Universalis 3. I'm pretty certain, actually, that you could uh, search for provinces you had not yet found. Right, so you're going to die if you stay out here for too long, so let's go here. This will soon be ready. Just a few more days. Wait, three ships. We accidentally brought a frigate. Okay, then. There we go. Alright, let's repair the ships. Let's uh, actually get that fleet maintenance up. Oh, right. So it was the explorer that got there really quickly. I did not expect that. Let's not have the leader here. Instead, move him back to the frigate. And wait for it to repair. And then go and scout for some paradise islands. Our colonial maintenance is topped off, right? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Well, this will increase our range significantly. I wonder if we'll be able to take lands in India and actually core them. That might be a bit optimistic, but... Uh, hmm. Hmm. I hope... One can only have hope. Let's explore all of this. Someone needs to, anyway. Ah, oh, no, Brunei! Why have you taken this? This is no place for you. I don't think there's any other islands here, but... Uh, might as well check. Might be something. I think this is Galapagos, right? Yeah, it's Galapagos, and I don't think there's anything else on the way here that has not already been claimed. It's Easter Island or something, right? Rapa Nui? I think so. I think that's Easter Island. And somewhere here is Christmas Island. Here it is, Christmas Island. <laughs> Flying Fish Cove. That's an interesting capital name. Well, alright, you can go back and repair, because I just think we got the last colony in the world. Maybe. Uh, well, of course, excluding... No, actually, not excluding anything. There is no more colonizable provinces in the world. Unless you can colonize this. I think this is wasteland. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, someone would have colonized it, for sure. Well, let's wait for our colony to finish. It's going really quickly. Kriokloklan is back at the throat of Jämtland. Vinland 
announced Sheng as a new rival. Very fitting. <laughs> let's uh, let's let the Viking Americans and the Chinese Muslims duke it out in perfect uh, a historical in a perfect a historical mess. Uh, Valois is allowed to seriously Valois. The Valois purge of Anglian heresy. They're going to lose this, of course. This is a defensive war where we need to help our ally. Who's going to win the naval battles here? Anglia. 21,000 ships. Valois. Well. I don't think it would be uh, bad for us to join. But then again, why would we? And we're also capped at admin power. We have no admin ideas to spend on. We have max stability. Are we really going to have to... No, maybe inflation? No, we don't have inflation either. Damn it, what shall we waste admin on? Um, I honestly don't know. What What should we waste admin on? We have cored everything. Yes. Can waste every other type of point. Oh, right, buildings. Of course, buildings. Let's decline this war. We can't really justify going to war. They weren't really the best of allies e anyway. They uh, wouldn't have joined any of our offensive wars. Let's build temples. A temple and a courthouse. Just to waste admin points. Uh, spy buildings and a town hall. Two town halls. Awesome. Well, at least we wasted uh, 80 points there. No, the merchant got shipwrecked. Ah, so what island did we take here? We took um, Kiribati. I wonder what kind of trade good we can get here. I'm hoping for spices. And also, what trade node is it? It's in... Vinland declared war upon Sheng. Overseas expansion. Interesting. What trade trade node is this? The Philippines. Okay, the Philippines. Oh, then they count as the Spice Islands, I'm pretty sure. I thought it might have been Australia. Uh, sure, I'll accept all of these. Let's see here, Valois. Are you going to take Anglia? And especially, is Vinland going to take uh, anything of mainland Sheng? Or just this little piece of... Uh, Alaska here, Haida. Sheng, in the meantime, is attacking Sutia. Expanding, growing ever larger. Also Shampa. Hmm, alright, so our range. Currently the same, right? Yeah. But it will be increased by the difference. Let's see, where is our island? Here it is. Alright, so it will be increased by around 500. So, um, whatever we have, plus 500. So, circa... Circa 1,900. And this is... Yeah, we can, we can core this. Can we core this? Oh, right! It, it stretches the other way around, so it doesn't get further. So, with, uh, with that... I think we can reach across the globe. That's nice. And we're being capped out on admin power again. We're not even close to being able to take in the tech. This is a problem you rarely have, I have to say. Not being able to waste the admin points. Bizarre. Admin points are usually the most precious resource you have. Courthouses. Can we build courthouses down here? In uh, an area that actually matters? I don't think so, but whatever. Let's build them anyway. Just to waste those admin points. Really good ruler here. A 453. But then again, we're gaining more admin power than we can ever make with. At least we don't have our focus set to admin. Um... By agency, sure. That will have to do. Our colonist is slogging away here. 300 pops already. Is this 
This is taken by someone, but who? Maybe it's not. Oh, wait, it looks like the colony is dead. I'm honestly unsure. We need to explore that thing. I think it's kind of red tinted, but I might just be blind. This time you'll find it. This is definitely not something I expected to see. Castile will transfer trade power to Great Moravia. Great Moravia, what are you doing? If Great Moravia can bully the second largest power into giving them trade power, then something is seriously off in the balance. But then again, in uh, Victoria 2, Sheng will definitely be the strongest nation because they will have a massive population. So they will probably also need one of these uh, events to break them up. I think they have uh, loads of events for breaking up China in uh, the various mods. Like uh, the Victoria mods that float around the internet. Might have to take a look at them. Be inspired by them. Come on, just exp... Arr. Shall we just fire it? Fire the explorer? Yeah, let's fire the explorer. And buy ourselves a... Uh... Or actually, let's explore some more here. Explore until you drop. Hmm, that's an odd path, but sure, take it. Uh, stability, definitely. Because we can boost it up. And now we can uh, save up some more admin power. Alright. So we bought some gold with our admin points, technically. Right, so... I'd like to have a conquistador. Temporarily, at least. Split you in half, get the conquistador, and onto the boats. Get over here. Explore this for me. I wish this is uh, uncolonized, but... Is it Sheng, maybe? Is the color being distorted by the sea? It's Kriok Lochlan! That's why I thought it was red tinted, but still not red tinted enough. Damn you, Kriok Lochlan! <laughs> well, that's uh. They, they got Wake Island. I guess that's uh, fitting for a USA like uh, nation. Anyway, you guys get back. And uh, let's make sure we don't lose this ship. I think we'll uh, get rid of uh, the explorer after he has explored as much as he can. Still, there's nothing here to really find any longer. Let's see if we can save the ship. Let's go back to the Kiribati Islands. I don't have big hopes, but it's just a light ship. Can build loads more of those. Oh, he actually survived. Right, so no leader, and let's get rid of you because you're sucking points. Alright, well, our colony is on the way, and after that we'll be able to jump on to, I to India and uh, Africa. Do some incredibly late-game uh, colonization. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.